Alrighty. Hey. So, Michael uh, decided that he wants to do this the next day. Yeah. I don't know if, like, I'm really gonna get what I want out of doing this, uh, day, you like, might. just a day after, but maybe. I know, I know about this. This is the only, I looked up stuff last night, and this is the only thing I saw How by accident. How fucking dare you, bro? So I know that Teddy is in our velvet room, but I actually don't even know what happens in the scene, because I didn't watch it. Teddy I was just... I, I read up about... Because I watched the end and where Nanako actually stays dead. As Because Stuart showed me the Adachi end in last night. Yeah. Why the fuck are you here? This is my limo. Get the fuck out of here. Well, you see, it's because uh, Matt Pat from Game 3 was right. Shadow oh, is really fuck. your Teddy. So many things fuck. Teddy was really your Shadow. I am fucking sorry. <laughs> shadow was really your Teddy. Yeah, the Shadow was really your Teddy the whole time. Do you guys believe me when I said that I legitimately did not know about Adachi, and I was just I mean, joking? I got worried at first when I sent you the I picture of Adachi, an and you said, oh, I looked it up I on my no own. One. Yeah, I, I did not, I, I avoided spoilers well. I think the only two things that were spoiled for me was Naoto being a girl, and Teddy turning human. I think those are the only two things that were spoiled. I saw Demon Teddy, but I wasn't sure if that was real or not. Yeah, um... I'm just kind of running on technicals here, so... I never saw anything that implied that Adachi was the bad guy. I did start to genuinely suspect it at one point, but then I thought, I, I, I believed you and Stort tell me that he wasn't the killer, but I was deciding to go through with the joke anyway. Like, I mean... Like I said, uh, I asked Stuart about it, there, like, about the technicals, because technically, yeah, he... There was another killer. That we already yeah. solved the baby Amatomi. one. That that was yeah. So like, <laughs> Masto or whatever. Yeah. Uh, I so I was like, oh, so Adachi. I gotta say, is a lot better of a reveal than the other two were. Like, it, it is genuinely creepy seeing how he reacts when he's being confronted. It's like you have this character that has such a friendly personality throughout the entire game, and then you dude. see him become pathetic, and you see him get worried, and oh my and if God, you watch dude. the accomplice end, and it's like actually, he's actually fucking scary in the accomplice Yo, end. In the bro, it gets, it gets so much better. I'm games, looking forward to it. The other Persona 4 games, he has a different voice actor. It, so he it's not as good. It's kind of more he like... He has one in the anime. Okay, he he he's more like a... I don't like his voice in the anime. Joker society he guy. That's how he sounds him. like. And that's how he came in the anime, he talks like this a little bit. Like, it's weird. It's just... Hello there. It is me, Adachi. It does not sound... It sounds like a... Adachi has such a plain voice. You could just ha you could just speak as him in your normal voice, and it'd probably be better than whatever that guy did. Yeah. yeah. No offense, voice acting is hard, but, like... Oh, it definitely is. I guess it's more like... I, I never watched the anime, so I don't know if it's the same voice actor, but... For at least... I've like... been watching... Sorry. He's in like Arena no, and Blaze Blue with. with his voice. He's already like accepted that he's just a fucking maniac. And he doesn't have I've to been pretend anymore. I've been watching the anime um, as we've gotten through this. I haven't been watching its entirety. I've just been looking up clips and like, oh, I wonder how oh, the anime okay. went about it. I would you like should... to sit down and watch the whole thing, honestly. I was going to recommend you should, but I'd also um, like to recommend the manga for. Hold on, give me a second. I'm <laughs> sorry. I, I like, like the to anime recommend the manga for four. It's, okay. it's really good. I, I like the anime just because you get to see these characters with more movement and more expression. It's just kind of nice to see. It's uh, from um, uh, the thing I like about the manga is it actually takes more time and gets more into the insecurities of the characters. Uh -huh. You know, like yeah. If anything, if anything, the show is only like 20 episodes. It's rushing it. Oh, hey, tell you saved her, Teddy. I mean, honestly, Aww. yeah, Teddy really? did <laughs> revive Nanako. Did he? Yeah, he did. I didn't know that I missed what they were talking about. I should listen. Um. I mean, in the in the, the one of the bad endings that you were watching, it sh it shows that. Yeah, I was Teddy, about to, to say something, something about that. Wow. That's um. Beautiful. What I learned from so just reading what other bad. people had to say about it is because people said, "Why does Nanako not live?" And they said, like, one way of looking at it too is you, that. if you kill him, you break the justice bond that you have with her because isn't that what her thing is her social link is like justice or something like that what's yeah, her what social her, link again yeah 
So like you're breaking if you kill someone who didn't actually do it, then that's not justice and you've broken it. And that might just be a metaphorical way of looking at it, but I thought that was cool. Something just feels so nostalgic. Oh, it's all cool. Just look what place. happened. <laughs> no, no. In, in the bad ending, Nanako also lives because it says that Teddy did a thing. Well, and says I'm going to exile myself. Yeah, and the bad one of the bad endings I watched. It's when you murder him. You murder Namatami. Is when Nanako does not live. Uh huh. Uh huh. They oh, all gather shit. around her. Okay. They all gather around her bed. She's she stays dead, and Teddy's never seen again. Oh, okay. What am I? Isn't that like one of the edits, now? though? I, I'm honestly not sure because I it I got like the, the, the bad ending for me twice, and the same outcome came where it's just oh she's revived. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, no. There's one where she stays dead, and they no, all go that, around her bed, and that might that might be Persona like four straight, like no golden. <laughs> I think There's maybe so I love like the video just called all bad endings because store only showed me the Adachi ending which is definitely the most interesting one yeah that probably was I mean outside of the actual ending though you, it might be vanilla because I have not beaten vanilla I, I just man I love these voice actors but like I just can't get behind Chie's voice her, her in old, like vanilla her old voice is nice I like it I like her voice in this game. Um, I, like, I, I like the over like I, it's it's a little more dramatized in this one. Got you. Really, I, I ended up liking every single character. Some of them, some of them did take a, a hot second. Yasuke, I just like to shit on, but that's also funny. I do like these guys. In Persona Four Vanilla, Adachi didn't have a social link, so it was actually oh. even more fucking sus <laughs> that he was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I, uh, I was gonna say in the, in the anime, I can tell, like, a lot of them are the same voice actors, like, Yasuke, Chia are absolutely the same, but then Naoto is clearly someone else, um, Adachi is someone else, and, uh, Kanji's also someone else. Is he? Yeah. He actually does, the, the Kanji voice actor in the anime actually did get pretty close at the very least, because I couldn't tell. He's voiced by Blonji. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Who the fuck was that? How did he get in here? No one else is supposed to be in here. The words in your Marker gets a shotgun and heads outside. Him. You have to keep... No, he hands you the shotgun. You have to kill him. You have to go and kill him right now. He's seen <laughs> things that he's not supposed to see. Mary's you have to execute Teddy. <laughs> this is a room for guests who have an ego that can be nurtured. Shadows. Mere fragments broken off from the ego. Yeah, Dachi, though, like, they didn't just, like, they did, like, make you like him, which is a good thing to do if you're, like, trying to make a kid, like, make it a big shock. Because they have him getting, like, goofy moments, like him getting drunk with Dojima at your house. You do stuff with them separately. He joins you and the kids on doing certain things, like taking the photographer down, which is something that made me suspicious of him, but it could have also just been seen as a, he's a dumbass detective so, fucking things up. Chris, I, I'm not sure if this is true or not, but the significance about Teddy being in the Velvet Room is basically Teddy confirmed he was just born a shadow that gained consciousness, and then through blah 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 he became his own human. Margaret? Are you asking me? Yeah, that's... That's kind of the consensus. <laughs> I don't honestly know. I wonder who he, who was he a shadow for, though. No. Oh, shadows just exist. No, like, like, okay. like, just like one of those, uh, masked people. Blobs. <laughs> you are gotcha. He just gained intelligence. Now it's time so he was just like one of those golden hands, basically. Yeah. Not, like, not specifically a golden hand, but he was like an enemy in that room. Yeah. And he evolved into an NPC. Yep, and that's, you know, he was, he was working out. And then he he created a body within himself. <laughs> he gave he fucked himself and created a child that grew up immediately. So he was oh, like, okay. He was like an egg, and so Teddy is the yolk. Human Teddy is the fucking yolk. I imagine Thanks, that's man. how the I imagine that's how Christianity works. Probably. <laughs> like it was like, it was like God and Jesus being the same person. No, okay. No one's seen him either. So uh, I've seen him, but I'm not going to say anything about it. So unfortunately, I can't actually really fight Adachi right now. 
I can, but yeah. it's gonna immediately skip to Christmas. That's what yeah. I not want to do. Yeah. So you wanna you wanna have you wanna like get everything else up that you can until then. Yeah. So the the day I'm gonna go actually fight Adachi and the the other Sigiri boss is on the twenty second. Okay. Just do some fun. Let's get some final slice of life moments, and we can talk to male student one last time. Yeah, but just for right now, you know, plot point. Hey, let's go, go to this place. Whoa, look how dense okay. this fog is. Yeah, it's still like dialogue and before. story right now. Yeah. And I'll I'll also fight that secret the... Nanako boss. There's this malicious aura everywhere. Just it like I tried to last. I don't want to like. From the last time I was here. I, I don't want to like you know. I think we'd better hurry. I, I hate to ask, but how long are we doing these for? To try finding Adachi. Could do one or two. Yeah. I mean, I don't have I, any. I don't, I don't. I don't have anywhere to go. I'm just asking. Just. Okay. If we're if we're all down for a third one, when we stuff? finish the second one, I'm down to keep going. If it, it just depends, you know. I just don't want to hold do you guys have, up. No, you're. Uh, we're the ones that invite you, man. Um. I. That's your. That's your. Uh. That's your catchphrase for each episode. Is just how long we're we doing what's this? Going to happen. Because I don't look. I have a kid, man. <laughs> <laughs> your kid's just in the corner. Yeah, he's just he's t posing in the sky. Yeah. Are you serious? I gotta find a way to get him down. Hold literally on. like shooting laser beams out of his eyes. <laughs> so he did come to this side. Well, that settles it. There's virtually no doubt remaining that he's the true culprit. Naoto has still had her doubts. Once we capture him, solving the mystery of this world and the rest of the case Where did can't Adachi be far go? behind. He just went to McDonald's. Oh, okay. Says, no, I just ran into the TV because you guys were spooking me. We will find out where Teddy came from too. Man, where what if he that actually tried to like anyway? nose dive into the TV at the hospital and then like it didn't Ye work? So he just died. He, he was shit. a sociopath. I can say for sure he's not here. You know that he saw Teddy, and he's not saying anything. He's just trolling them. I is here, but I can't <laughs> track him down myself. Gee, Ted, why aren't you here when we need you most? Fucking asshole. Just kick Rise. This Teddy place. pulls the plug. <laughs> <laughs> Teddy gets one of the Teddy gets one of the pillows and fucking puts it on her head. <laughs> I thought that was the purpose. <laughs> but it really doesn't matter. I wanted to make her face comfortable. Nana-chan, I'm so sorry. Oh, she's there. We're good. Calls the police immediately. That actually did happen to someone in my family before, yeah, and she was an old person, but she was pronounced dead and then started back up. I heard Interesting. Yeah, that does actually happen. It's crazy. I I was very young when that happened, but people my family told me about it. Nana Chan, oh, hold on. I'll get the doctor. Doesn't get the doctor. Doctor, who are you? Immediately throws him out. Nana-chan told me that she heard my voice. She heard me say, hang in there. Yeah, okay, it cool story, bro. Her, frankly, Who the fuck are you? Was because <laughs> voices reached her. Even on like, you're not on a, you're not on any list. Who are you? Security? My voice. <laughs> Why are you hanging out around a little girl? So, we, we need questions. In any case, Where are her parents? We need to answer these. We... We're doing our best. But it's difficult when Why are you not in the bear costume? I like you more when you're in the bear costume. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Well, if anything happens, please send for me. <laughs> I like that doctor's face. It's calling like a SWAT team being, on him. <laughs> then the way I can change is unknown too. So all I have to do is make them not unknown. What? Nana-chan's doing her best. Yo, Teddy, you gotta Sensei pass that shit, cause that shit must be good. Now too. <laughs> cause that I, was some... I'm just a shadow. But Nana that was like Chan something that somebody would say when they're like, stupid voice. high. So what if I'm just a shadow? There must be something I can do. He takes his shit in here and then leaves. Now, <laughs> just give up thinking about things. Well, do something, probably. That's why I came back here. 
right now. Just picks up Nanako and runs out the hospital. Need to make sure that she's okay. It's this hospital bed that's doing this to her. <laughs> Teddy's sh uh, persona like sends a nuke off to Nanako. <laughs> oh my god! It's like, huh? Oh, I didn't know it was gonna do that. Guys, you know what's really weird is that, that that persona is like anal probe. Yeah. Hmm. Do you see that giant missile like coming out of its ass? It's just part of its body, man. That's what they all say. <laughs> it was good. More go through in like the back too, not the ass. No use. Come on. I can only tell that Adachi is here. Come on. That's just silly story. Jesus. If only Teddy was with us. Didn't he say his nose is practically useless now? And could he even help us find that bastard? <laughs> no. Why, why don't he'd be no Why don't help Risei just like move to the left a little bit? But he was always there to support me whenever. W well, we're supporting you, Risei. Right. That bear's a loud mouth, but he's nice to have around. He's always so full of energy. He's lighthearted and always optimistic. Oh, they care about their friend. Aw. Man, remember when he was perving on everybody? Yeah, remember when they all hated him? Dizzy. The fog's so dense. Yeah. It's hard to see through it. Why don't we call it a day? It won't do us any good if you collapse. I agree. Yeah, Te Teddy has hit Yasuke levels in many scenes, but I'd, I'd still say would be reduced. still say he's better. He's not the one at level 27. To our world hey. for the mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, what, le this is a, what level are you guys at again? Oh, don't worry about it. 20, 27, right? Yeah. Maybe 26? Maybe. <laughs> Damn it! We came so far to run smack into a dead end! I know he's in there too. What's wrong with me? My powers are completely useless. Riseko is on a spiritual journey. Would you just leave? Yeah. Teddy? Yeah. What the, you fucking stole hey. your ass, piece of Where shit. Where the hell were you? It looks right. like he's hiding, but I think that. Uh, no, I guess he was sorry. hiding. I'll drown him. She just kills him right then and there. <laughs> They'll just start beating the shit out of him. Um, they rip him out from the, from, the, from the fucking bear costume and like burn the costume And then beat him up alive. again. Are you, fake? you know what I really love is how this is meant to be a serious scene, but yet he's in the bear costume. Sorry. Well, we, we got to know him from the bear costume. I know, I'm just saying. In I my think... opinion, he looks equally goofy as a human. <laughs> he has a really goofy human design. I'm sorry. I figured out a lot of things. Stuff about me and that world. I wanted to tell you all. I have cancer. No. You listen to Teddy's confession. He's the one who killed all these people. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. He framed Adachi. Adachi's actually innocent and now suffering in the Midnight Channel. <laughs> then pulls out like two AK 47s Shadow? and kills them all. You mean you're one of those people <laughs> we've been fighting? The bodies of the people he's killed are inside the costume. Okay, so we kind of get an answer of where Teddy comes from, right? Yeah. Okay, so why the fuck did Game 3 make a whole episode on that, even though the game answers it? Uh, I don't really think it's Matt Pat himself, it was just probably one of his writers. Wait, I'm not, I'm not. Did, maybe someone like, didn't even play the game or finish it. I'm not dissing Matt Pat, don't get me wrong. And you kept I love Matt Pat. He's you, you know he's pretty chill. Him, right? I'm just saying, like I feel like you could have looked that one up and I got the answer. Ordinary shadow. I think when you, you get in like I said, I said this before, I think once you get into a repetition of like doing the same series for such a long time, you are gonna get to episodes that you don't care about. Like I, I feel like the thing Instead, with this one is Persona has so many like so many game theory things you could yeah like legitimately do for persona like for instance is it possible i know it's stupid but is it possible to have like this many people including like the social links that'd be a cool episode to see like how you would have to do it plus a job maybe you'd have to have someone who's passionate about the game and he probably isn't yeah i mean yeah he was probably just like, oh, Persona's popular, we can do an episode on that. I mean, you know, it's, it's just job, it, whatever. 
I would love uh, I'd love Persona to be a lot more popular. It's got its own fan base. I've definitely heard of it. I've heard it get mentioned. I feel like it's I feel like for how old it is, it's only been referenced like like I think four, five, and three are like the only ones that people really talk about. Yeah, because Atlas doesn't care about one in the two duology. I mean, two the two the two the duology is pretty good. One I, I could live without one. I just like some re-releases. Yeah, I. Oh no, I I agree with you. I believe that it should be re-released, but you know. A shadow is suppressed power. Once controlled by the ego, it becomes I mean, a one, persona. I mean, one game theory that he could probably do is actually say, like, hey, is Yahweh actually in the Persona universe? Doesn't it follow yeah, see, that's a good one. You must have developed an ego? Yeah. Now, my, my, Yahweh is basically, like, God itself in Whether SMT. The ego masters its Think shadow, of, like, a got it. Flo floating Patrick ego. Stewart head. What if they did a? The only difference I see is the order in which the process occurred. What if they did? What does Mr. Marupa do on his spare time? I'd like to see that episode of Game Theory. What if they did? What if Mr. Maruka survived? <laughs> I'm the same as humans. You keep trying to figure out who you are, just like all of us here. You keep shitting on my carpet. You can't do much. On I feel your like own. Teddy is the equivalent. like a real bear. <laughs> I feel like, like a real bear. So I feel like Teddy is like us. the equivalent of Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> I am Teddy. Explain, please. I am Teddy, the ultimate life form. You see, this is what Shadow does too. Yeah, he does. I mean, you're not wrong. Thank you. <laughs> Yukiko is getting soaked. So glad. Yeah, it's like gonna flood. It's gonna start flooding this place. You just see water the start to go up. Pretty much a group of misfits to begin with, too, right? You fit right in, man. Hey, Teddy, you're a fucking loser, but you know what? We are too. So are we. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Who are you calling a misfit? Not a coke. Yeah, <laughs> fucking <comes> loser. <laughs> I, 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 I keep calling now to Nanako. There, Detective there. Nanako. That's not something a detective would say, or an idol either. <laughs> they just start slamming his face on the fucking table. <laughs> Passion in nonstop. While you were gone, we figured out who murdered the announcer and senpai. Who was it? We're not gonna tell you. It was Adachi. Huh? Oh, I knew that. <laughs> that total goofball. That fucking loser. Whoa. That piece of shit. Oh, I didn't notice at all. Looks like I'm pretty blind to that sort of thing. Hmm. But you all know him. If you can't find someone like that, I don't think I can help you. Like I said, we're not expecting much from you. You're kind of fuck up. Well, the main thing is, it's hard to get pumped about this without someone nice and fuzzy around. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, what Kanji said. So don't uh, take the okay. fucking costume off anymore, dick. Do it and we'll kill you. <laughs> all right. Now that the band's back together, let's take it from the top. Starting tomorrow. They just practice for more music shit. God damn it. <laughs> they don't. They don't solve the mystery. They just play more music. So like, when Teddy's in the costume, it's like his spirit is back into the costume because the costume is still like changing expressions and talking and all that. I I think so. I want to believe. <clears throat> I want to believe too. But he does say stuff like it's too hot in this thing, which kind of kills the illusion of it. Remember when Nanako watched that same game show every single day? That but you missed true. those days. Mm -hmm. I have no idea if I'm supposed to be going out and doing questions or just we immediately go into the, the TV world. You should go to the TV with everyone at school. Well, <laughs> I guess that just answered my question. Damn straight. Are you gonna I was call actually going to flip out if I had to go and ask questions. I, I kind of would pay to see try, that. But if Risei chan couldn't find him, I really doubt someone with a dried up nose like me will be much help. Hmm. Is his nose like going to start working here? They just put like a moist towel out on his nose. Oh, a dodgy baby. A dodgy baby? It's canon. It's it's really a Dachi and Teddy. 
they're dating. Those eyes, I get this feeling. I've got to sniff him out no matter what. This is my time to shine. Oh, I'm getting something. Hell yeah. And he just goes Super Saiyan. Yeah. Teddy explodes. He can smell. He can smell. Hey, quit wandering around. You better He's not sniffing a bitch out. Again. Shut the fuck up, Yasuke. Just unzips and eats Yasuke. They just, they just, they just walk a little bit onto the bridge, and he's like right behind the fog. <laughs> like they didn't try looking for him at all. <laughs> he's, he's right behind the fog, eating like a bag of chips. <laughs> like, oh, you found me. You can like hear the chips the whole time too. Just little crunches. <laughs> he turns himself in easily. Smells, but that's weird. If I remember right, that's where Sensei Yoshi and Chie-chan came from when I met them for the first time. Why are you oh, that uh, Chris? When we first, that, that weird room, right? Oh, yep. You mean that creepy ass room where all the faces on the posters were? I do remember out? that. Yep. There's someone there. And the the corner with the urine in it. Teddy, you really are. Well, uh, there must have been Adachi's urine this whole time. Yeah. yeah. It was just yeah, fun. just Adachi it's made Yusuke piss. I first sensed Sensei and the others. That's why it kind of smelled over there. Oh, I see. My cat's like hardcore snoring behind me. Wait. <laughs> Wasn't that the room where Yosuke had to go to the bathroom? And... Oh, oh, wait, Yosuke you're peed. Saying he peed his pants there? It's all no, laugh at him. I don't want to hear it. Oh, you lost No, I whipped my dick out and just I did not piss my pants. <laughs> she explained <laughs> random rumors about stuff like that. Uh, this well, it happened so long ago, my memory's kind of... Pissed his pants. Allegedly. Allegedly. Where Yosuke got really scared and pissed his pants and shit and sucked his thumb like a baby? Allegedly. So, so did he piss his pants in the game? Is that what happened? Allegedly. Because in the manga, he just pissed in the corner. Allegedly. I haven't heard you crack up in a while, Yukiko. Though I really wonder sometimes about your... I haven't heard you crack up in a while. It's almost as if we've been dealing with murders or something. Wow, we've really been going through this, uh... You yeah, see, the piss... The piss in Yasuke's pants made the friendship stronger. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I oh. noticed her first, and she just had yeah, to run that's off and have an affair. Who's there? He's angry. He's not happy right now. Oh, <laughs> he looks upset. You're very persistent. There's the same expression from the uh, bad ending. You're getting on my nerves, kid. Answer the question. <laughs> no. Motherfucker. That's, that's the question. What are you gonna do? Piss on me? <laughs> It was an accident. She started struggling. What else was I supposed to do? I called her out to the lobby because I wanted to ask her something. And then she started getting hysterical on me. Well, I just threw her into a TV. Uh, backstory. Who are you? And what's this something important you called me out here for? What they say on the news isn't true, is it? All that talk about you having an affair and whatnot, it's all a lie, right? Why do I have to explain myself to you? I see. So you don't deny it. You caught my eye. But it turns out you're another worthless bitch. That's a bad Oh, so he's been an incel this whole time. Yep. Yeah. What's wrong with he was you? fucking simping over Mayumi. <laughs> don't make me call for help. Yeah, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I think you need to see what it's like to fear for your life. It'll get your head straight. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what are you going to do? No. Ah! And thus, she fell in. She fell in. <laughs> wow. So people can go completely inside. What was his original plan? Mash your head against the TV so it, like, Broke when said she went in the TV, I guess. Good thing for me, no one Probably. else was around there in the middle of the night. That happened in our lobby? Oh shit. A murder happened? 
in our lobby? I learned about the midnight this is like the <laughs> fifth time. It's like the most tragic day of Mr. Moby's life. <laughs> no, Mr. Moby is actually a dodgy. Mr. Mosby. Mr. Mosby. <laughs> uh. I burst out laughing when I found out. Why do you think Zach and Cody got canceled? Right away that this was going to be interesting. Well, it so didn't even get canceled. It got a boat show, and then the boat show concluded. Idiot. Did it conclude? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. They graduated. It's nothing like that. All right. Oh, they graduated high school. Where are they now? Uh. Probably at the I bottom of the ocean. This Dead. A little for betraying. Mm. Yeah, putting them inside the TV was never the plan. But you know, both my well, and I know where they are now. <laughs> See, what happened is they make a show called Zatch and Mackle. <laughs> it's the it's the true spinoff. Saki? Oh yeah, her name was Saki Kunishi or something like that. At first, I just called her in because of work-related stuff. Her being the one who found Mayumi's body and all. And naturally, if there was any chance she'd seen something, I'd need to know, right? So I was all set to be a nice guy to her. And then that bitch. Oh boy. What's this about? She just like sneezes and he throws her on the Did TV. Call me in for more questions? Well, we'll get to that. But you know. I saw you this afternoon. Wow. Is he gonna try to hit on a high school student? Huh. So I'm not good enough for you. Yeah, basically. Oh boy. I know how to deal with girls like you. No. Grabs her by the legs and just shoves her into the TV. Right. And her team's like, it happened at my police station. <laughs> he just comes into the he comes into the shadow world. When I was in school, just to say that, then the nurse comes in all pissed off. Sir, what are you doing here? You kind of need to be sleep. in your bed. <laughs> Neither of them really acknowledge where they are. Yeah, right. She pulls him out by the ear. <laughs> Life's not so bad after all. So Adachi has a society complex. Yeah. Get on your knees and beg, and maybe I'll let you out. Oh my is, god. Okay, right here, his whole head isn't even in it, so like, all she could probably see is like his forehead. Right. You see the eyes, too. <laughs> That'd be creepy. Yeah, that would be really creepy. Happen. <laughs> As if I'd walk into a death trap like that. Even though, I just did. <sighs> I've been calling this guy out for the piece of shit he is this entire time. series. High school girls are thinner, you know? Lighter. Oh. Jesus Christ. You son of a bitch. Come on, give me a break. He doesn't even like you. Dangerous inside the TV. It's not like I was You know, Yosuke, he has a point. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm sure they hit on Naruto <laughs> not the other way around. Yosuke's like, I, I I like the way this guy thinks and then he starts like throwing people into the TV. Mm -hmm. Everybody just joins Adachi. <laughs> they got exactly what they deserve. The Adachi ending. Adachi. Every, everybody just becomes a dachi. <laughs> Shut the hell up! You knew from what happened to Mayumi Yamano that people die in here. People die when they are killed. <sighs> so what if I knew? No one. You already know it was Namatame who did the rest. He called the police in the middle of the night just after they found that Saki girl's body. The rest of the force had their hands full with the double homicide. And it happened that I was the one who took the call. <laughs> he just got lucky. Said the police refused yeah. to take him seriously. You were responsible for that then. Oh, quite the contrary. If anyone else had taken the call, sure. But I actually did believe him, you know. Ah, that's the pattern to the two deaths so far. And now you're seeing a girl in a kimono on that weird program. And you think she'll die too, is that right? Namatame-san, do you seriously expect us to believe something like that? But, but it's true! If there's any way the police can protect her... Listen, there's no way the police are going to make a move based on a fantasy story like that. <laughs> it does sound interesting, though. <laughs> what an asshole. But, but... Yeah. Oh, oh man. Idea. Ooh, an idea. If you really want to savor that much... 
yourself. Ooh. Like, you could shelter her somewhere. Some place where no one could find her. Where no one could find her? Where no one could find her? No one can find her. Where no one can find her. I'm busy, so I'm hanging up now. You know, it's unfair. If they would have just shown us that PNG of Adachi before, we would have all known. Isn't that amazing? That was amazing. Of all the people who could have received Namatami's call, it ended up being me. Talk about luck. All I did was give him a little push. And he completely bought into his vision of this world. The more people you guys saved, the more he'd kidnap. Both sides had the best of intentions, so the game of cat and mouse would never end. <laughs> it was awesome. It was stupendous. It was awesome superb. person. You gotta be shitting me. Shit on me. Why? What reasons could you have for doing that? Because <laughs> I'm a creep. None, really. Yo. I could do it, that's all. And it was fun. I guess that's my reason. So that's his reasoning, Michael. So, so, so like, same what I said, but more words. It was yeah. fun. Come on. All I did was put people in here. I didn't murder them. That is true. Yeah, no. Yeah, he that's he's, that. a, he's, a, he's a pretty good guy. Let him go. He's innocent. I had nothing to do with I don't, I, I, I actually, I'm not, I'm not so sure he did it anymore, guys. You're just dodging the blame. Yeah? Then how would you prove it? He put people inside TVs? <laughs> you think the police are that stupid? The police become yes. not that stupid. I mean, a bunch of kids what figured it out sooner, was. but... I do so, admit, though, you know. I never thought you guys would manage to track me. There's something to say about that. I like that. Games like this gotta have surprises or they get boring fast. I agree it's with like that. I dealt with that Kubo kid. That was fun, too. Kubo? Photographer. You mean to say that Mitsuo oh, the three Kubo's strings? Appearance was your doing as well. Oh, I did that sense kid. Something odd in his course of action. If he had special powers and wanted attention, why resort to a regular copycat crime? But that wasn't the case. Kubo had no such powers. In fact, he was thrown in by you. Am I correct? It had been a while since I last put someone inside the TV, so I really got a kick out of that one. Why did you do that? And how come Mitsuo didn't say anything about you? <laughs> you think that didn't occur to me before I did it? Come on, I'm a detective. I led him through to a room at the station with the TV, switched off the lights, and did it quick while he was still startled. As long as he didn't see me push him in and no one else did either, no one would believe him, even if he survived. Of course, I don't think the Kubo kid ever figured out what happened. <laughs> Wait, the he actually confessed to crimes. Yep. That he didn't yeah. too. He turned himself in pretty quick, actually. This was back when we didn't even know enough to issue a search warrant. But the other officers decided it was just a prank. So they pawned him off on me. I didn't blame them. I mean, a kid coming and saying, I did it all. It was me. Who'd believe him? He just wanted to be but special. bad. I didn't think anyone would come forward and take the blame for all the incidents. The police were desperate dependent on anyone. If this kid really did it, they might have announced the case was closed. And if that happened, Namatami would stop saving people. I couldn't let that happen, or the game would be over. That's why I told the others I sent him home. I came up with the idea to put him inside the TV on the spot. The game would be over? You threw him in just so your fun wouldn't end? You gotta have some At this point, we gotta stop acting so surprised when he says something fucked up. We've already kind of hit the maximum peak with him with that. It Michael, it's an anime. My fun. <laughs> Thanks to you, Kubo was arrested again, and everyone acted like he was the true culprit behind it all. Couldn't they see how badly he copied the crime scene? It worked out in the end, though, because good old Namatame kept saving people. I guess the guy started to develop some kind of messiah complex, huh? <laughs> what an idiot. This is all a game to you. How dare you murder Like people? we're inside of a game. Murder Saki-senpai for such a stupid reason! You bastard! I'll never forgive you! 
You can keep your That's like, wait, 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 no, please forgive me, Yasuke. <laughs> he actually cares. Our he gets, like, really upset. Oh, wait, please. Anyway. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't know Yasuke didn't was like know gonna forgive me. Fog's leaking out. Everything on that side's pretty much screwed. The two uh, will merge soon, and then there'll be no difference. No oh, no. Anymore. It's the interdimensional merge. It's all this good. This world has a mind of its own. We'll see which of us it favors. Keep your bullshit to yourself. It's about time you shut the hell up. We'll finish this right now! He just goes up to him, slices his throat, and he's dead. Oh, no. What a chump! Didn't I just tell you the real me is somewhere else? I'll be expecting you all. We'll put an end to this. Get back here, you! No. Yeah, he just responds, no. That stuff about the world's mind and how this place will become our reality. Was he serious? The rest of his confessions were consistent. We'd best proceed under the assumption that it's no lie. It felt like... He's gained some strong power after coming here. Not it's called that. the power of an incel. He got taken over by that power. They're quite powerful. They are. What's his incel power level at? Too one. much. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> That's actually what shows up as a statistic. What happens yeah. then? <laughs> I think he means... This world will engulf the human world. The world of humans. The people in town. Everyone will become a Dachi. It's like when the shadows that emerged from people went berserk. If the fog gets even thicker, and this town is completely shut off from the outside world, then the other side might become full of shadows, like over here. You mean everyone's going to turn into shadows? Damn it! Damn that I don't even like the hedgehog. Everybody, everybody get here. develops a teddy costume. That's just called a furry, my guy. <laughs> they all become furries. <laughs> Everybody's like calm about this, and Yasuke's just like. That's why he's no longer allowed on the team. <laughs> he's not on the team, he's just been following the team. I sense Adachi's presence from that direction. He's taunting us. Oh, wow. Thank you. Let's go kick his ass right now. No, we have to prepare. Wait, I suggest we prepare ourselves first. We can't let him stab us in the back ever again. As long as we get in there before Christmas, we're fine. Our disposal and defeat him without fail. I'm a little worried what he means by the end of the year. Now's not the time to freak out. Let's go home and watch TV. Let's get prepared. <laughs> Let's get over prepared and leave footprints all over his stupid. Let's get down to business. To defeat the Hans. Oh. <laughs> We're the seekers of truth. Yes. Senpai, please don't go on alone. I understand that it must hurt. Since you seem to have a personal relationship with him. What are you all looking at me? For? Yeah, it's okay. He's already in the portal. <laughs> up ahead. He might be hey, Olivia, can you, you come on the air? It's gotten like stupid hot. Wait, never also, mind. Isn't it, uh... Forget I said that. You you was just like, oh, guys, well, we can, like, Atachi's a pretty good guy. We could talk him out of this. Yo, we need to get him some euros, bruh. <laughs> <sighs> Be prepared. Bedtime. It's a quiet night. Quiet night. He might be calling to you. Hey, you. Hey, you, buddy. You're we'll you, you, together, we're, we're okay? cool, right? You come you on. Tell. Alone. It's Promises. fun out here. We'll have so much fun together. He, he has like a sweater. Go see him alone. <laughs> what happens if you go and see him alone? I honestly don't know. It's not the right option, so I mean. It's I'm just so curious option. whenever there's like whenever a game gives you a bunch of choices, it's like Undertale. I have to go online and look up all the other alternatives. 
You know, I never thought about that. Normally, I just do it. I get if I if I grow to like something, I do get very curious of what the other options result on. But the first time I play something, I try to like just focus on. I, I won't like hit save and try everything. I'll I'll go through it naturally. Everybody, the results of the test. Oh shit! You, you decided to check the test results. He fails this semester. Yep. <laughs> he just, just drops out. Held. Yoshi's getting, Yoshi's getting held back. He's in the same class as Kanji and Naoto. And then soon Nanako. <laughs> Nanako? <laughs> Nanako catches up to him. Yeah. I would love a Persona game where they're like, Wow, it's almost as if you were on your phone or something looking up the answers. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, there we go. Head of the class. Look at, you, look at you, you're your number one smart boy. Look at me, guys. Look at me. Man, what can I... Just go to Adachi. Me. Just walk Worship up to Adachi. Just, just go up to Adachi. Yeah, well, whatever you think. I'm number one smart boy, so take that. It's like, I never thought about it that way. Fucking moron. <laughs> Gonna go hang out with, uh... Finish her shit up. Yep. <laughs> Let's go to bed. Even though she didn't even call us when we were at the hospital, I'm grateful. Bitch. Fucking right. loser. Piece of shit. Right. Right. Hey guys, it's foggy, but <laughs> start playing depressing music. Yeah. People just start passing out. When's that Mario Golf game coming? Uh, the completion out, is just a video on it. It came out yesterday, but mm -hmm. get this: Amazon said, "Fuck you, Stuart. Your package is coming late." Uh, right. I love when they do that. So either I think like if it doesn't show up today, I can I can ask for a refund. When I worked, still worked for Amazon. Anytime my friends like this wasn't just one person; this was multiple people. Anytime their package fucked up, they blamed me. It's your fault, though. Even if I'm not in the same state as them, they it, blamed it, me. What well, was your fault? Like, when I didn't get my package? Yeah. I just saw the name on it and I threw it out the window. Yeah, you were like, no, fuck that. Fuck Chris. Look, look, my shirt is late and it's still your fault. It's like, I'm really pissed off like that they made me drive all the way down to California to deliver a package. <laughs> it took you days, weeks, months. Yeah, come the fuck on, man. You, you have a car. You can at least go, like, two miles an hour. Come on, dude. Goodbye. <laughs> After school. I could be a stupid fucking tutor today. Fuck Shu. Fuck Shu, he's a piece of shit. Do you actually need to get anything up with Shu or can we just like neglect him? Uh, his social link. Do you care about his social link? I want to look at him so I can say fuck Shu. Because <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Why do you hate him so much? Because the entire time you talk to him, he's just like, I'm smarter than you. If you do something that I don't like, I can get rid of you. You know that? Did you, like, drown his face in the toilet? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Let me see who else is available tonight. Talk to... Like, have you... You never max... Like, most of your friends you have maxed out. Didn't you only max out Jay and Yasuke? Probably Teddy too, but that's I know it's like story driven. I don't know if you guys can see this, but around here you could start seeing like black dots because of the fog. Hmm. I and definitely noticed that fog here, and they've also cut the music. Talk to Rizé. I already talked with her twice, so I'm I'm certain like next time I talk with her, I get to level her rank up. Yeah. Or I can do Kanji. Uh... What are they at? Because Kanji got pretty high up, right? Kanji's at seven. Seven. Honestly, it makes sense if I go to to, to tower Chu. Chu, fuck Chu. My arch enemy, Chu. 
Oh, I do see the black dots now, actually. I did just notice that. I'm going to tutor. It won't deepen just yet. But okay. It's an easy, like, 10,000 yen. 10,000 yen? At least he didn't have to listen to him talk that time. He shut his mouth. His stupid just, fucking uh, mouth. You slammed his head into the desk and he was just quiet the rest of the night. You have to be our healer after all, Yukiko. Yukiko. How close is Yukiko to being maxed out? We've had her for a long time. She already is. Oh, cool. I mean, we, we can go over it, because I I still need to see who else I need to look at. Fuzzy wuzzy polar bears. Well, what do you guys think? Is it transparent? Uh, I still say white. Well, white. I thought they were white. I thought a polar bear's fur was white. Okay. Transparent fur scatters the light that hits it, making it appear white to us. Okay. Their skin is black, though, letting them efficiently absorb the sun's rays. Oh. I did not know that. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. My knowledge increased. <laughs> uh. Okay, it's Friday. Who the heck is available today? Michael? It's... I'm available. Are you, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Probably not. <laughs> oh. I'm intelligent in areas that don't matter at all. Like I said last night, I, there are, I am genuinely fucking stupid when it comes to some things like math or just like like i said math money like all that like stuff that i actually need i should probably fucking know more about i had to get help paying my fucking taxes this is the first year i did it on my own oh my god i don't even do my taxes yeah I... oh i used to have a guy but you. it was because it was stuff from my you. family oh no olivia does my taxes i just don't do them oh, okay I, I actually referred to you as a she on accident oh my dare friend you. uh Assume my brother my helped. My brother helped me uh, pay my taxes. It was pretty easy with TurboTax, but but still, there was like the questions that popped up. I'm like, I don't fucking know. And then my brother was like, I he would, he would say no. You obviously say no to that, Michael. I'm like, I don't know why it's obvious. <laughs> so, so you yeah. had to pay taxes, or you or did you just have to? They did my taxes. I got. I, 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 um. Huh? Because um, th there's differences between paying taxes and filing taxes. I think I just filed my taxes. Okay, no, I'm not. I'm not judging you. I'm just saying, you know. Yeah. yeah. I got. If... I got. I got a big refund back. Same, but that's because I have a child. So. <laughs> I got a big refund back. I got a big refund back because one 2020 was the year that I've worked the most. And two. I uh, I did not get any of my stimulus checks, so that went into my refund. Oh, a kid to grab him, he's not happy. Yeah, having a kid is uh, is is good for your taxes, and that's it. Yeah, that's the only positive. That's the only reason Milo first. exists. <laughs> I, I wish. Fucking, <laughs> fucking dark, Michael. <laughs> Even though I was literally <laughs> asking that. Too. You're gonna say the same thing. <laughs> No, Milo is loved. Yeah, uh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Chris yeah, gets no, darker with it than anyone. Because <laughs> I'm his dad. I, I, yeah. I, I kind of have to do it now before he starts understanding me. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a nice long talk of daddy says shit, but he loves the crap out of you. <laughs> I don't know, teaching your kid to have a sense of humor is a good thing. Yeah. You stop playing in the fog, that's gross. 
<clears throat> what? Fuck Ooh. the hospital. Who can we I'm gonna talk to bomb tonight? it. Oh my fucking Fuck the God, police. Michael. I was talking about in game. I'm not doing anything like that. Don't record me. Don't report we, me to we the look FBI. on the news and Michael's out there bombing. <laughs> I was making a. I was making a joke in in game. Bomb the hospital in, in Minecraft. How, how you dare say, you upset my son? You can say anything you want as long as you end it in Minecraft. But Michael, there's no hospitals in Minecraft. You can build a hospital in Minecraft. You can build anything you want in Minecraft. You can't... You can't build a functioning Congress. You can... Yeah, you can. <laughs> can you? I don't know. Use your imagination. I, I, I really wish that's how, like, politics started. Just how does this work? Use your imagination! Just do it. <laughs> we'll figure it out later. It's just, I don't fucking care. We'll fill in the gaps as we go on. So how do you, so what do you see this nation in a couple hundred years? I'm, I'll be dead. I don't care, bro. <laughs> we'll just hope for the best. The world is a bad place. Just try to, just try to enjoy it while you're here. To the best of your ability. I feel like that's Still every fun. nation, though, it is. I, feel like I, that's said the, every... I said the world. I said the world. I know. I, said, the, I, think that's, oh, I think that's every nation in the world is they just went, oh, we'll figure it out as we go. Well, I definitely think there's some country. There obviously are some countries that are better to be in. Like, I would, North Korea is probably the last country I'd want to be at. But, Michael, there was like a thousand articles saying, hey guys, this is why North Korea is amazing and better than you think. Number one, Kim Jong-un uh, has a weed farm and everybody was yeah. clapping their hands and feet. Dude. <laughs> Dude, okay, hear me out. I'm in North Korea right now. It's pretty good. It's pretty good here. We have a Whoa. loving we have a loving leader. Uh we only have three channels, which is great because I you know, and I can't have an opinion, which is great because then I would start getting depressed about if they if they things. saw you watching gameplay of this game, you'd just be executed. What are you talking about? They don't execute people. Come on, what are you <laughs> What are you talking about? That's fucking crazy. <laughs> What are you talking about, Mike? What best, are you talking about? Play. It's the best country on the planet. It's the best country. Yeah! <laughs> it's, just, it's, like, it's like Disneyland everywhere, dude. Disney every day. Every day! It's every day, bro. It's got that Disney Channel flow. Yeah. So, uh, what the hell so I'm just that? gonna... Okay, let, let's uh, see what male student has to say about this. Yo, my grandma's just straight up dead, bro. <laughs> That's just it. <laughs> um, this might be the same text as before. Wait, oh. No, no, it's, this is new. She was glad I risked coming to see her though through the fog, but I think it might have made her worry more. She got all worked up. It's a poisonous fog. It's too dangerous to be going outside. How do you get to school? I told her I don't know. I She's just been worrying about am. me the whole time. Thank you, male student. Thank you, male student. We'll have to talk to him uh, again. I, I was, that might be the last dialogue from him. I don't know if he'll update again. Detective Naoto joke. Cool. <laughs> I, 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 man, I, I'm sorry that I committed to that. No, you're good. I'm, anyone, I'm just gonna... anyone else who's read that would probably appreciate the detective now with their jokes. <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> just one I'll... guy in the comment section. Yeah, I remember reading that. I guess I'll do the fox. Is that one, like, infamous? Uh, detective now, I mean, it's, it's like, if you know about it, yeah, but, like, it's, it's also just... It's very, like, me bitching about it is, like, absolute, is, like, the most minor thing, I feel like. <laughs> Do you think you need to grind any more stuff? I don't know how to put it. Level I, in other words, yeah, you're good. Uh, I'm at the eight. I think I'm good. Yeah, I'd say just finish I mean, up you're what you're doing. Fight him. 
Hey. But no, anyways, like it's it's you know that one episode of The Simpsons that like nobody cares about and it was like absolute garbage, but you remember Which one? it. There's a lot of them. <laughs> there is. I'm talking about like uh, when Simpsons was like good. Like they had the like one episode that was just. Yeah, see, that's kind of what like Detective Naoto is. Is in the grand scheme of things, it's absolutely nothing. It's not that honest to God, and like when you compare it to new episodes, that episode's actually good because there's like jokes in it that are funny. It's like before the show was a complete piece of shit. It's just a portrayal of a character, though. That's why it's like one of the most hated episodes. But it's yeah, that is that is it, it is better than any episode in season fucking thirty. You know? Oh, uh, ew! That's just that's just <laughs> thirty-two. Yeah. Um, I mean, you're that is that is all disgusting. Um. It is really just the portrayal of the character that is one of the problems. Yeah, no, nah, I don't like. I don't like that one either. Yeah, th that's true. And also for Detective Naoto, that's another thing is that it just it's just not Persona really. Like so it's like this. You know. Like mm. this. Why? Nah, just this? kidding, nerd. I already Why know you fucking this? bitch. It like kicks you, then does a kickflip. Um, um... No drinking too. How was your school? Fuck you. How dare you ask me I'm questions? Kidding. You just say I'm kidding. Just, he said no kidding. Fuck you, Shu. <laughs> the Shu starts saying like super racist things about the transfer student. <laughs> <laughs> like, you do not have to do this. Why? Why, why is the hatred? <laughs> because I want to like see how reasons. far I can get. Your lessons are a lot easier to understand. You should be my teacher. All right. Why is his? Why is his fucking arcane look so terrifying? It's like people that's, dying. Because that's my wrath of Shu. <laughs> I hate Shu so much that I'm destroying a tower. <laughs> Man, that fog is getting thicker. It's almost as if we should uh, do something about it. What's on the TV? Don't make me do something drastic. Hello, guys. It's me. It's me, a running persona joke. There's nothing. He has nothing. He has nothing to offer me. Listen, control shopping district. Well, it's almost as if we should stop the guy that did all this. It's Rise Chan. Let's go hang out with Rise. It's Rise Chan, the murderer, guys. Uh, it's Sunday. I gotta talk with Hisano, Ooh. that uh, death lady. Asano. Can I make... Can I make hey, Pisanos. Hey, Pisanos. It's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. <laughs> the Mario Brothers and Plumbins are game. We're not like the others who get all the fame. When you sick is in trouble, you can call us on the double. we are faster than the others. You get hooked on the you brothers. hooked on the brothers. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Good shit. Hang on to your seats, because you're in for a treat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would like Dude. to do a Mac Owens Atch on that series eventually. Homie, homie, yeah, I like I I watched the whole thing <laughs> for for an episode that that I just am never gonna do. <laughs> I I watched fucking the the Super Mario Brothers Super Show to Super Mario World. I spent a lot of money to do it, and then, like, Andre made a video on the Super Mario Brothers Super Show mm -hmm. and did it better than I could have ever done it. So I'm like, well, there goes, <laughs> there goes some fucking money. If you still got something to say, I'd say it's worth doing, but but if you I, made I every really point don't. you wanted to make. I, I really don't have any. I mean, I mean, now, now there's a lot of shit I can say because, like, Time has passed, but you know, it was, you know, it was one of those things where you're like, well, shit. I was bummed out. So what? 
did when I, I remember I was bummed out because when I did my community video on the gas leak here, um, I looked it up before making the video, and there was not there was like one video on the topic, and it was a really poorly made four minute video where the guy had very little editing, and he was being a huge asshole in it. Michael, it's you. Well, it's like okay, so I can make a I can make a better video than this. It's you, and then um, so, so hold on, hold on, Michael, it's you. Oh, hey, I found you. Cool. I found you, Michael. You found me. Wow. <laughs> that's what that's that's what it says when wait, it, whenever you like use a, it. Wait, you see the markings on there? That looks like a dick. Yeah, that's a butt plug. Oh, oh <laughs> sure. Yeah. Well, what I was gonna say is, uh, I so I made my video. And it took me a while, as the as they normally do. And then I uploaded it, and then I found that two weeks before mine went up, someone else made a video on the same subject, and theirs was really well done and got a lot more attention. Look, man, like, I'm not, like, I mean, when it comes to video games, I'm gonna say shit, but, like, I'm not the TV guy. Yeah. When it, um, when it came to, uh, I was still happy that I made the video, because I feel like my video and his video were different enough. We took different approaches to talking about it. But, uh, Hey, Michael. What? Do me a favor. Uh, don't stop your t show TV dinners until Olivia and I get our show, uh, <laughs> couch co-op out, only because we wanted to do a crossover. Or it was I do, it was, nice. We want to yeah, do a no. crossover called a uh, couch co-op with the side of TV dinners, so we <laughs> so you can't so you can't cancel your show until we do that. I, I don't plan on can I have no plans on canceling it. All I can say is that's so far it's been two to three episodes a year, and it's probably going to stay at that. Yeah. Uh, um. It's a yeah. very slow. It's a very slow show, and I only I'm only going to do it if I really want. Like the, I'm working on the Malcolm in the Middle one now. Very slowly, like I'm not putting a lot of time into it. It's not a priority of mine at all. But uh, every once in a while, I'll open up my script and add to it and rework a few things. And I've already started gathering footage. And once there's a full script and once I have all the footage recorded, it'll probably be like two to three weeks of me working, editing it on and off. And then that one will be out. Yeah. So I'm gonna say uh, in like four months that will be out. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try to get my Kirby shit out pretty soon. But that's because you know, like. Yeah, it, I feel like the thing, I don't know, this might just be me being an asshole, but I feel like it's way easier to talk about video games, at least for me, than TV. Yeah, it depends on the person. I would not be good at talking about video games. Yeah, I like, would I'm not just be asking, good at it. Like, I mean, I'm just kind of asking the question if the game is still good today, and Kirby's kind mm. of a gimme, because there's, it's, I mean... Like, I've heard some... St the thing I love about doing video game shit is you hear some stupid shit that people complain about, and you go, why the fuck would you ever think that that was gonna be here? Yeah. Yeah, I, uh... Like I said with TV dinners before, I just like picking an angle to look yeah. at it from. Rather than just being, like, a like a flat-out review, which nothing nothing wrong with doing that, but I just like to pick, like, an angle to talk about. Like, instead of talking about all of BoJack, I just am reviewing the whole show. It's just talking about the last eight episodes... For community, instead of reviewing the entire show, it's just the gas leak year. For I mean, in the middle, it's about a specific character on the show. I mean, I mean to be fair here, didn't you talk about uh, BoJack in its entirety, like legit though? No. Oh, okay. I could have sworn that. Huh. I've talked about it so many times that at this point, I probably have because I've talked about it non. <laughs> I've done it so much. I'm actually joining my friend Matt podcast on his channel and we did like artwork for it the other day mm -hmm. and he he had me has me with a bojack horseman shirt on just because of that because i refuse to top <laughs> stop talking about that show in the rat boy genius like video i threw in a tiny clip of bojack just because i realized like when i was editing it if i didn't this would be the first episode that didn't acknowledge the show and i'm like maybe every episode should acknowledge him at least once now that there's a pattern it might break that eventually but <laughs> It's Bojack and Shark Tales until the end. Shark Tale gets like a once a year mention. Though. Just April first. I don't know if I'm still gonna do that. I, I might. I might. Yo, Michael, we should do a game review of Shark Tales. <laughs> I've considered we do, like the PC playing port. Shark Tale. I've considered playing the Shark Tale game for like next year's video, but. You gotta do the Game Boy version. Um, if I could like record it on the Xbox One, if I could get the Xbox game recorded on that, which I don't think I can. You could get the Xbox game. 
Yeah. How much backwards uh, compatibility does the Xbox One have? Can you play Xbox games? Yeah. You, I mean, kind of. Some you can, some you can't. I think it's like a majority of it. You would, you, you'd think so, but I still can't play Dead or Alive on it, so. Really? Yeah. I'd be down like, to play um, the Shark Tale game, though. Like, like Dead or Alive, Katama Beautiful Katamari, um, Tekken, not Tekken, holy shit, Soul Calibur 2, uh, Pac-Man World. There's a long either... list of there's a long list of games that aren't backwards compatible for the Xbox. The 360, like the 360, has almost everything, except for like some weird license shit. But you know, I could either do like there's three approaches I could take with that. One is just like on April 1st, do a big live stream that goes on until I beat the game or until I quit. Uh, you should just like record your TV. <laughs> um. <laughs> The other option would be to record the whole thing ahead of time and then edit it into like a highly edited Michael and Zatch. And then the third option would be to actually do like a fucking like like video game review and treat it like one of those old video game reviewers or like one of those like ABGN knockoffs and just kind of make that because I've always I've kind of wanted to do a video that poke, pokes one of that format, even though I like it. I, I've enjoyed it in the past, but just make just I feel like it'd be fun to make fun of. Do a goofy, do like a fake game review. Almost 20 years later, Michael comes and makes fun of the angry video game review thing. Angry people. Video. I just, it'd be like shit like, you guys, oh my god, the fucking fairly odd gamer, which Stuart and Austin introduced me to. Who, who is that? He is, it's so funny because every single time he does a crossover episode, he's a smaller channel. He is very much a smaller channel. No, no disrespect to the fairly odd game, by the way. No disrespect. Uh, I, <laughs> he puts a lot of he put he puts a lot into his videos. He like always gets someone to do the thumbnail artwork. He gets these big ass costumes for the for the videos. I don't I don't know how he pulls it off, but he has like he has funding of some sorts to make the show. Um. But it's so I I don't I've never I don't think I've sat through an entire episode yet because realistically I get bored while watching. But uh, but there was this uh, fucking <laughs> every single time he does a crossover episode, it's the same thing. It's some other person with even less subscribers than him who comes on, which realistically is going to be what happens if me and you, Chris, do a crossover together. It's going to be just two people that no one has ever heard of doing a crossover together. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not trying to make fun of that too hard. It's he's doing what he likes. I I respect it, but it's always the same opening bit, like where someone says, "You were gonna talk about this game without me. You can't do that." Like, and then he's like, "Okay, fine, you can be part of it." But he does that. He does that skit. Look up anyone that has a guest in it. It's the same thing every single time. You would almost think he's self-aware because of how often he does that skit, but I don't think he is. Oh shit! Okay, it's really, I, it's really funny. I really like it. <laughs> but please do not misinterpret this as uh, me being mean to this guy, because I, I want, I want everybody to go to his channel, subscribe, give it likes, leave nice comments. No one, no one, be mean to this to this guy. It's just I find it very funny because it just feels like everything that those old reviews were. Like old nostalgia critic or old AVGN, it just feels so much like that. <laughs> Is it a cow? Don't say the c word. Don't say the c word. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he literally said that. What are you doing yeah. here? Yeah, like a cat. Oh, there is fucking responses from this website I'm on. I do think I have to get on a different day. <laughs> this guy I don't know. Like the fairly odd gamer gets pretty good amount of views. Yeah, he does. He, he no, he's doing all right. He's doing better than me. Let me look up his channel, actually. Like I said, I mean, there's like... I mean, Sorry, to be fair here, 
to be fair here, if you just do something long enough and people people will watch your shit. Yeah. Yeah, no, 634 subscribers, that's pretty good. He gets like a good about he averages like 400, 500 uh, views per episode. Well, that's good. And the artwork on his thumbnails is mostly good. There's a few that cuz I think he commissions a ton of different people to do artwork. And some of them do really amazing, and some do MS Paint looking stuff. But most of the artwork in his thumbnails look really nice. The, the fucking Rocco's Modern Life thumbnail is excellent. The and he's pretty persistent. And he is pretty persistent. He is pretty persistent too. They come out at a good rate. Uh, the problem with his content is I do feel like, and this is not me being shitty or anything. Sorry if it sounds that way. It it just looks like. Not even that he does nothing games, it's just from what I saw from one episode, so ignore me, I'm, I'm stupid. It seems like it's a tropey kind of thing, and it, it, it's not like... It's not like AVGN where a random person can look at it and be like, haha, I like this, you know, I, I, I just don't. Yeah, no, it, it feels... I'm trying not to be mean, my dude. <laughs> no, it, it feels like... I'm trying to find the best way to describe it. It feels very underdeveloped from like the type of reviews you saw very early in the internet. Yeah, it's it's like if like if he was doing this around the same time as AVGN, this shit would have been popular probably. Yeah. Then everybody would have but, started wearing Donald Duck and Barney costumes. 